uses a <coughs> best case, worst case and average case analysis of runtime analysis of algorithm. So what do you mean best case time complexity, worst case time complexity and average case time, time complexity? So best case is actually, best case time complexity is actually minimum minimum time taken by algorithm to terminate so <coughs> there will be some set of inputs for which uh, the algorithm will terminate by performing minimum number of steps or uh, by taking minimum time okay so let us consider this algorithm this is actually a pseudocode version of linear search so you are having an array a with n elements and let k be the search key so for i varying from 1 to n so we assume that index varies from 1 onwards starts from 1 so 1 to n do it will check whether a is equal to equal to key the current element under consideration matches with the search key if so it will return success this algorithm by will terminate by returning success if no element in this array matches with the key this algorithm will exit from this for loop and it will return failure indicating that there does not exist uh, such key in the array so what about best case of this linear search algorithm so rather than following frequency count technique we proceed analysis based on the last method that we have discussed that is based on the number of basic operations involved okay. so if you consider this linear search algorithm which one is the basic operation so as you all know comparison is the basic operation so best case time complexity of linear search is actually actually the minimum number of comparisons required by this algorithm to terminate so for what all inputs this algorithm will terminate by performing minimum number of comparison so as you all know if search key is there in the first position then uh, it will terminate by performing a single comparison assume that search key is there in the first position in the array so you are having an array of uh, n elements and let the search key be 5 so 5 is present in the first position so for i equal to 1 it will check whether a equal to equal to 5 at that time itself it will return success so how many possible best case inputs are there inputs of size n are there that is an interesting question you can have infinite such possibilities so when we talk about integers, so you are having uh, uh, having an array of n items and let 5 be the search key. You, you will be having 5 in the first position and you can have uh, n minus 1, uh, n minus 1 other integers in the remaining locations. You can have some infinite number of uh, such valid inputs for which this algorithm will terminate by performing a single comparison. So from this it is clear that t burst of n will be equal to 1. So we perform this analysis by considering or counting the number of basic operations involved. So best case time or best case uh, time is equal to 1. That is the number of comparisons involved. Next one is worst case. Since we are performing analysis based on number of basic operations involved, we can say that maximum number of comparisons taken by algorithm to terminate. So it happens for all those inputs in which search key is there in the last position. So as you all know, uh, this algorithm will perform this comparison for i varying from 1 to n. So it will perform 
in comparisons in both cases. So you can have some infinite number of uh, inputs for which such key is there in the last position. Okay. And again, so you are, you are having some set of uh, inputs for which such key is there in the last position and you can have another set of inputs for which such key is not there in the not there in the list or array. So this set each dot actually represents array of size n, array of n elements. All these inputs will actually lead to recent success and all these inputs will actually leads to leads to result failure because such key is not there okay so the whole set of uh, inputs of size n can be divided into two parts uh, can, can have two subclasses for which for one subclass it will return success by performing n comparisons and for one subclass it will return failure by performing n comparisons. Okay. So T worst worst of n can be defined as so whatever the class, whether it leads to success or whether the input leads to failure, how many comparisons will be there? Exactly, it will perform n comparisons. So, t worst of n will be equal to n. So, the set of inputs for which it leads to worst case includes the inputs that leads to success and failure. For inputs that leads to failure, such key will not be there in the array. And for inputs that leads to success, such key will be there in the last position. Now we can move on to average case trigonometry analysis. So average case time complexity is defined as average time taken by algorithm to terminate. So this actually involves a uh, average case analysis involves probability also. So I can say that uh, T average of N will be equal to probability of success into T success of N plus probability of failure into T failure of N. So if I if I take an input array of size n in random, that may lead to success or failure. So P probability of this actual represent probability of success and T n of T success of n actually represent time taken that leads to success. And this actually represents the cases that leads to failure. the number of 
comparisons if Tversky is there in the first position. That is one. Plus, what about probability? See, if you consider T success, we are having n different cases. Tversky to be there in the first position. You can have, if you take the class of inputs that leads to success, you can again categorize or sub, uh, you can classify it into n different classes. If you one, if you consider one class. Input Sersky will be there in the first position. You can have another class in which for all input Sersky will be there in the second position. You can have another class for which all for all input Sersky will be there in the third position and so on up to a class of inputs in which Sersky will be there in the nth position. So we need to consider all those cases and probability of Sersky to be in any position is actually 1 by n. So that is equally likely. So 1 by n into 1, this actually represents the probability of Sersky to be there in the first position into number of comparisons required in that case. Probability of Sersky to be there in the second position, that is 1 by n into number of comparisons required is actually 2, if Sersky is there in the second position. Next one is probability of Sersky to be in the third position into number of comparisons required will be 3 plus etc plus probability of Sersky to be there in the last position. That is one again one by n into number of comparisons required is actually n in that case. So we have considered all possible subclass of subclasses of inputs that leads to success. So this will be equal to one by n into one plus two plus three plus etc plus n. So this will be equal to one by n into n into n plus one by two. So you can cancel these two. So this will be equal to n plus 1 by 2. This is actually a t success of n. Now we can determine t failure of n. So t failure of n is actually the class of inputs that leads to failure. So you will be having only one class. If you consider class of inputs that leads to that leads to success you will be having n classes. In this particular class, all the Sersky uh, for all inputs, Sersky will be there in the first position. If you consider this class of inputs, all Sersky will be there in the second position. For this class of inputs, all the Sersky will be there in the third position. For this class of inputs, all the Sersky's will be there, Sersky will be there in the n position. So if I randomly pick a input that leads to success, Probability of that input to fall in any one of these classes is actually 1 by n. So we have tabulated it like that. So this class or the union of these subclasses actually gives the set of inputs that leads to success. Now I can have another class of uh, inputs that leads to failure. So there will be only one class of uh, inputs that leads to failure and in that case Sersky will be absent. So how many comparisons will be performed if you take any input? So that will be equal to n. Now we can move back to the uh, first equation that is t average of n is equal to probability of success into t success of n. Time taken, time or number of comparisons that leads to uh, success and probability plus probability of failure into number of comparisons that leads to failure, time taken for failure. Now let us assume that let Yeah. 
this equation you will be getting x into n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 minus x into n. And again if you analyze this one, this is actually a polynomial in terms of the input property n and 